Hey everyone, this is Judy with JLB Crafts. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thank you so much for giving me a try. In this video, I'm going to be setting up the July monthly views in two of my planners. This is my social media planner, and then I'll also be doing my wellness and fitness planner. So for this monthly view, what I write on here is, um, what video is posting each day and I color code that and it matches the swishies um, on the thumbnails on my YouTube channel. So if you see a green swishy, um, that is my vertical and those are on Fridays and so on and so forth. So um, I am going to add something new this month. I also keep track of my stats like um, follower change for YouTube and um, Instagram and then um, since I've been able to monetize my YouTube channel, I keep track of that payment that I receive. Um, the new thing I'm adding, for those of you that don't know, um, and it's been all over Instagram for a, for a couple days now by the time this posts, I did get selected to be a Girl Boss Anna rep again for the remaining six months of the year. And um, the requirements for that have increased a bit. Um, there's a week each month where I'm assigned to be a moderator for her Facebook group and then um, we have certain posting days this time rather than just kind of a free-for-all so I'm going to add that to this calendar as well in the form of just like little bullet points on the days that um, are required so so what I'm going to go with theme wise for this and I got to shut my window because it's blowing the breeze is blowing <laughs> There we go. So I really didn't have much of an idea of what I wanted to do. I usually do nautical red, white, and blue stuff in July, but I've done that a several years in a row. So I decided to do something different this year. In a couple of my recent videos, I have used this roll of the new Girl Boss Anna washi inks. So these are die cut made out of washi material. Um, and there are four different colors on the roll. And I've been using the blues, and I haven't been using the purples and the mints. I don't know why, it's just my particular spreads I've done the last couple of weeks, I haven't needed the purple and mint. So I was like, well, purple and mint, that says kind of like mermaid-y to me, so maybe I can come up with a way to use these in my monthly view. Um, and so then I was like, well, what other purple and mint stuff do I have? Well, I have these purple and mint, um, the super skinny. Now these are not the washi. These are the uh, original um, overlay tapes. These are called mini liners. They're super, super skinny. And I love to cover the days of the, of the month and the columns up there with these. Incidentally, most of these overlay tapes, even the washi ones, are thin enough that you can see through them. So what I was thinking I could do was maybe lay, lay these over top of the the words that are already here since in this particular calendar that I'm using they're super super bold and then the other thing I pulled to go with so I'm going with a mint and purple theme which to me again I feel like says mermaid so I have these simply gilded washi tapes um, which are super super cute I maybe I'll use them in the center I don't know um, and then I pulled a couple different sticker books I pulled the pastel mega book this is older I don't know if it's still available or not um, but it's got a lot, I thought I could do the, the under the sea, not, maybe not mermaid, but like under the sea stuff. So some of this stuff to go with it, the mint and the purplies. Um, and then I, I want to do something special down here. So, um, I've actually known about this sticker hack for several years now, but and what I would normally do is just kind of write one thing all the way across up here and one thing all the way across down here, but there is a hack for that. So I have pulled the colorful boxes, the one that has the, the boxes that fit the monthly, and we're going to go ahead and I'll show you what the hack is for that. So let's get started. Um, I'm, I need to decide... What I was thinking I could do is maybe purple over July and mint green over 2022, and then I could do purple here and mint here just to have them be opposite of each other. So let's start by doing that, just to use these. I really want to use these up. So, and that way you can see, even though this is the washi and not the, um, the one that's more like a, a, a scotch tape, you can see how well, look how well those show through. And then the balance with that, I'm going to use the purple 
mini lighters on the days of the week and then we'll flip flop it on the other side. And these are perforated. So the other ones are die cut, these are perforated. And they're just about right that you don't have to actually pull them apart. Oops, and that one pulled apart anyway. So might as well go ahead and just, they're not quite the right size, but they're pretty darn close. So you definitely could get away with not separating them if you wanted to. I might have to chop this center one because yeah, I don't like, I don't like how it looks when they overlap. So I'm gonna chop both ends. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my craft knife and uh, do it right on the page like a kiss cut. So it's a little uneven, but I think it looks fine. You can't even really tell on camera, so. All right, and then let's put four of these on. Perfect, okay, so there's my color scheme, purple, mint, green. So now I need to decide what I'm doing with this washi tape. Do I wanna come down the center? I kinda feel like I do. I wanna go down the center and punch it. I haven't done that in a while. Um, or I could use the thinner and go across the bottom like the seafloor. The sea bed, ooh, I like that better. Let's do that. So you have a coupon code in the description box for, or it's a link for signing up for Simply Gilded's no spam newsletter and you get a coupon for $5 off a purchase of $15 or more and I get that same coupon. And if for Girl Boss Anna, since we already discussed that I am a, um, PR rep again through the end of the year. If you use the code J-U-D-I Judy10, you will get um, a 10% discount. And then also if you put, so she brought the samplers back. So if you order something that's not green, my sampler color is the Sea Gla Glass Collection, which is lots of different shades of green, as you all know, my favorite color. Um, and you will get a free little sheet that has those four green overlay tapes from the Seagas glass collection on that. So so Judy10 is your, your coupon code. And then if you put Judy in the comments on your order, you will get my free sampler. And all, each of the different PR reps has their own code. You don't have, if you don't want the green ones, you don't have to use my code. You can um, I don't know them all off the top of my head, but you can use whichever one you want. It's just that gets you your free four sticker. And it's not the washi, it's the original ink collections um, on a sheet. Actually, let me show you. I have an example of them. I should have pulled this. So this is my swatch book and I keep all my examples here. So here is what you get. You will get one of these. Um, let's see, do I have my own? I don't, oh, yep, there's mine. So if you use the code Judy, or you comment Judy in the, um, in the comments on your order, you'll get this uh, sampler with the four different shades of green. My fave. Okay, I digress, here we go. All right, so looking good so far. So let me show you now this um, sticker thing down here for the bottom. And this is gonna give me a full box to write on. It's just, we're gonna basically create kind of like the flipping journaling sticker. So I want a purple, here's a purple. That's pretty darn close. So I'm gonna start by putting this one, so it's got the corner notched out so that the date still shows. So I'm just basically gonna come right into the corner, lay it where it's supposed to go, but only the diagonal and we're going to fold this back right along that dividing line. What hell of a plan did this here recently? Um, this hack actually has been around for many many years. I'm so glad she reminded me of it. I watched her video here recently and I was like oh yeah I forgot about that. Okay and then here's a minty green one so we're going to turn this one the opposite way put this corner over the 31st and again just lay it where it's meant to be, so basically we're just gonna put sticky sticker side to sticky sticker. Just line that up. There we go. Right where it should be. Ta-da! And so now I have a full box for the 31st here. And then I have also a full box for the 24th here. 
and my colors match my layout. So that's just kind of cool. All right, so all of my empty boxes then for this month are up here. So I like to use that for some stat boxes and some other things. So I wanted to go ahead and do like an under the sea kind of a, a vibe. Uh, so let's see here. I think I can use, I'll use some circle stickers for my stat. So I can either do a little scene here and put all my, my uh, functional info on the side, or I can do the opposite. I can build my scene here and do my functional stuff there. So if I do my little scene up along here, do I have short enough stickers for that? I don't really want to use the mermaids. I use the mermaids all the time. Um, that one's too big. Unless I bring it all the way over here. The little seahorses will fit. Some of this um, coral will fit. The bubbles. So yeah, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do that. Let's build our scene here so it looks like a floor, the, the seabed, the floor. And then we'll do functional stuff on the side. But I think I want to make it look like a sea floor. Maybe I want to go ahead and use, I could use more of these actually to like, maybe we should do that. Let's, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and use these. We're gonna layer these like they're the sea floor. Just kind of overlap them a little bit and then I can plant everything, kind of plant everything off on it. And that way we'll use these up. There we go, all used up. So now let's look for stuff to stick on it, like these little sea stars. I'm gonna try, like I have been, to stick with mostly. So I want this to look like it's sitting on the, on the floor, on the sea floor. And I do have lots of half mermaids. That's because, oh, in spreads last year, I did um, permaids. So cut the, cut the tops off and then um, do cats, cats on top. So they're purring, kitty cat, purr maids. Oops, and I just squished my sick sticker. Um, let's put some horses on there. I could put a crab on there. I'm just trying, like I said, like I've said, I don't know how many times, say it enough times, I'm trying to stick to the purples and the greens. Maybe I'll put the two little seahorses over here facing each other. How about a quote? Magic is something you make. We could put that on there. That kind of shows. I think I want to move this star though. I'm not doing anything pink, but I could I could go ahead and put this crab on. How about some bubbles? It's too big. Oh my gosh. I need a fish. I'm wondering if I can cut this half in half. If the animal book has fish in it. I think it does. I think I'm gonna pause this. I keep losing my tweezers and grab the animal book. Oh, they're in my hand. Duh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, I'm gonna pause this and grab the animal book and see if I can find some fish that'll fit on there. Well, not really a book, it's this this dashboard that came out a few years ago, but I think it's got all kinds of stuff in it, so all kinds of different pets, and people can have fish as pets, right? Oh, here we go, dolphins, all right? I got green and I got purple. Let's put a green dolphin on here. And sea turtles, should I put a sea turtle on there? Let's put a sea turtle on there frogs. I did have a frog in a fish tank years ago, but it didn't look like that. Here we go. How about a fish? Let's do a purple fish to go with the green dolphin. He sticks out like a sore thumb. That shade of green. Um, that's okay. I'm going to have my color coding highlighting all over the place, so it won't, it won't be that glaringly obvious. Oh, once I get all that stuff on there. Okay, so I 
kind of like this never stop making wishes just for a second quote but I need to get my functional stuff on here so I need kind of like let's ooh, those are pretty so this could be good so what I do is like YouTube start I do YouTube and then I do start like the number of subscribers I have on the first the number of subscribers I have on the 31st, and then the net change. So three boxes is kind of perfect. And that kind of matches. And I do that for YouTube and for Instagram. There we go, there's a green one. Let's use the green one. I never use these. Okay, we're gonna come all the way over. Let's put it down here, right next to this box, which is kind of purple, well, it's both colors, I guess, technically, so. Okay, and then a purple one would be nice. That had the three like that. There's another green one. I could do two green ones and something purple in between. I think that might be what I need to do. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's use the two green ones. But what I can do is since that one's turned that way, let's turn this one this way. And I think I want to try to lift this guy and move him up a little to just give myself a little bit more room. Let's move the bubbles up too. Just because I'm a little more crowded up here than I thought I would be. Look how cute they are. <laughs> okay, so now let's put this one this way here. Right up to the very edge with those little tails. I'm going to end up moving that starfish again. Oh, this poor little starfish. The last thing I need then is like a circle to note um, income, which is not much, <laughs> but every little bit counts, right? So I need, if I had a purple circle, that would be perfect. There we go. Purple circle. I wish it was smaller. It's a little bit big. Oh, there were some smaller ones. Okay. I want the smaller one. Here we go. This is better. This is the right size right here. So I'll just, I'm just gonna grab my pen. I'm just gonna grab a Paper Mate Flare. And so this will be YouTube. And then the triangle is actually, I'm a chemical engineer and that is the symbol for change. So like a rate of change of temperature or for calculations and whatnot. Anyway, I still to this day use triangle for change. So change from start to end. And then this one's gonna be the same thing, but for Instagram. And then this one is going to be income. So uh, let's see, I need a dollar sign. So here is my little, this is my little Rolodex of sticker bits, and I knew I have these little dollar signs in here, so we're just going to take one of these and put on there at the top, so I remember that's what it's for, and then I'll just put YouTube and, um, I can put YouTube on there and the date, and um, the only other one is uh, the affiliate links for Amazon that I have in all my description boxes. So, so that is it. I will, oh, I forgot. I wanted to do bullet points for posting. So, but I don't know the schedule yet. I'm Tuesday is my post day on Instagram, and then I think I have the fourth week on Facebook. Um... Let's go ahead and do hearts. I know Tuesdays are my day. So I'm gonna go ahead and do hearts. Um, let's do, and that'll remind me, that'll still give me enough room to write my, my video up here and then I can make a note on what my post is gonna be for Tuesday. And we'll do a purple. And then I'll, I'll, add, I'll come back and add the Facebook stuff once I confirm what that is. So, all right, stay tuned and we will go ahead and do my wellness and fitness planner next. All right, so here are the pages for my wellness and fitness planner. I'm using the um, the seasonal, let's see, I have the sticker book that goes with it, the Seasons of Color um, planner for this with the matching sticker books. And I like this. I just feel like it's a little too orange and yellow. It feels a little late summer into early fall 
to me. This is a color scheme I would normally save for like August or September. So I want to bring, there is some pink. So I want to bring out more of the pink and do minimize the orange a little bit. So I have pulled and I'm feeling, I don't know why, because I love the coast, but not tropical. Like I'm not a monstera leaf, beachy kind of a person. I like the rocky cold Sure, but I have this kit from Planners Anonymous from last year. It's called Tropicana, and this is the wide washi tape, and it's got, see the orange kind of sunset colored background, but it's got a lot of pink. It's got the tropical pink leaves, and see the, um, the flamingo in there. So what I thought I would do, this washi tape, so it kind of doesn't really have a right side up or an upside down. Like, this guy's right side up the way I've got it. This guy's kind of right side up the way I've got it, although if he's flying, I guess he could be flying in any direction. But then I come over to this guy, and with the washi tape oriented this way, he's upside down. So I couldn't decide, like, did I want to go this way? It's not quite wide enough that way. So I think what I want to do is something I've done before. So I want to cover up the orange. I'm going to go ahead and just... Let me back up. All I write on this is symptoms. So... You could track your period here, ladies, or if you have, like, you started getting headaches or acid reflux or your knee started hurting or whatever it is, I track symptoms here. You track what makes sense to you in your wellness and fitness planner. If you're more about the fitness, do, track your steps here. Um, you can see a trend. Do I walk more on the weekends? Do I walk less on the weekends? That kind of thing. So track what you want. My point, though, is I don't put a whole lot on this view. So if I cover up some of the boxes a little bit, I am okay with that. So what I'm gonna do is do my messy rips like I like to do and just stack this washi tape up across the center. I'm not trying to hide the orange dots, but I don't need the orange dots. I want a little more of the pink to show. So I'm just gonna go ahead and speed this up while I stack this up. I do have a coupon code, and that way I can turn the washi tape right side and make this guy right side up too. Um, I do have a link in all of my description boxes for uh, Planners Anonymous. It gets you 10% off your first month's subscription. You need to be subscribed for two months, and then if there's a kit that you don't really care for, at that point, then you can um, skip the month, but still stay subscribed. And I have... I get some loyalty points if you use that coupon as well, just for full transparency. Um, and I do have lots and lots of unboxings of their kits on my channel. If you just go to the unboxing playlist, you'll see lots of planners and all. This one is on there, this, this kit, although you can't really get it anymore. Um, it is an older kit, but it, the unboxing is there and they have a couple different subscription options. If, if you don't care about washi tape or the secret item or the, 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 the papers and stuff, you can do a, um, you can do a subscription that is uh, just stickers only now. So check that out. Good start. So I'm going to white out notes. And then I pulled a couple books to pair with this washi tape. So I have the... Um, Pastel Tropics is a little bit of an older sticker book, but I remembered it had, it's got this pink, orange, yellow combination on a lot of the things. So like find me under the palms and see how that's the right colors. So I can use this up here to cover up that little bit of white out. Some getting tropical little quotes. That one fits, but it's the wrong color. Here we go, these leaves are fun. I can put these in different places. Like I can bring them across here because they're the right combination of colors. How about no, I'm just looking for something maybe quote wise to put there or there. This is the good life in bright yellow. So I'm trying to stick in the pink, orange, yellow. These are cute. We can put some animals in there too. All right, let's grab that one big paper quote to cover up notes with. Although I know I wanna, yeah, here we go. Find me under the palms. So even though this, these little spots on this washi tape are gold, I, I don't mind this being silver, that's okay. Okay, so our whiteout is now masked. 
This Aloha is cute, or I can do black. I kind of I want to use these up. Like I need a big quote and something, one of those maybe, or I can put, all right, let's just start putting some of these on there. So this corner one, I'm gonna put down here. Let's just put it right in the, tuck it right into the corner. So for once, I'm not gonna use the stickers that coordinate with this planner. I pretty much always use them, but I'm wanting more of the tropical vibes for once, so. Let's see, let's use some strips. Find me under the palms. That's just, that's cute, but it's the wrong size to fit in that space. So I think I might have to pull my big black quotes from Amber Plans for Day. So I think what I wanna do is kind of dress up sections of the page with these. You know what I mean? Woo! Not what I wanted. <laughs> so if I put like a section of it here, let's just cut it. I'm just gonna cut it right there. I'm gonna put a chunk of it. Should I have kept that intact? Or now I can put this piece down here. And then I want another piece here. Okay, and let's put one I don't really want to put one all the way up here because I might put something even bigger there with the quote, you know? So I don't know what I'm doing with this piece yet. All right, we'll put it back in the book. So I'm going to pause this and grab my big black quotes from Amber Plans Her Day and we'll see what summer stuff we got in there. So I have two different Amber Plans Her Day sticker books and I just ordered another one. Um, but the Holiday Quotes and Boxes one has a couple like vacation-y things. When all else fails, take a vacation, vacation mode, relax and recharge. That's a good one for a wellness and fitness planner. So maybe I could put that here. Um, and then I also have the Black Quotes, which has a little bit of seasonal stuff. So in the very back, especially where they're super big. My heart belongs to the sea, summer state of mind, summer loving, hello summer, there's spring. I just ordered her rainbow quotes too. And then these are all like empowering women and that kind of stuff. So these are super big. Here we go, summer vibes. Let's do summer vibes. Let's do summer vibes on this one across these three. And then let's do vacation mode, I think, across these two. And so before I do that though, I want to find something like this to more of the pink and orange and yellow to somehow layer it with. So like I could use these two to bookend summer vibes maybe. Um, I could, I wonder if vacation mode will fit inside that circle. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. So if I stack this, if I layer it like this, it's a big, bold, black quote. Oh, <laughs> and the hole, the center is cut out, so. <laughs> All right, let's just kind of put this here, vacation mode. This whole spread says vacation mode to me. There we go. All right, and then... I want to layer, so I'm done with that. I want to layer something with um, summer vibes. So I've got those two pieces. Ooh, ooh, let's put these on there. Let's do um, coming down or coming up. I think coming up. So I'm going to put this all the way over to this layering onto this sticker and we're going to use the second one as well and just let it all overlap there we go and then we're going to put summer vibes over top cute all right so last thing i have is just over here and i'm kind of thinking i want maybe some animals or something because i have feel like i have enough quotes so like i could put this guy on there and a toucan we could put a sloth on there. How about, oh yeah, how about, let's just layer some animals over here. So I got this yellow sloth. I don't have pink or orange. 
So we're just going to stick with the colors that make sense. So we're just going to attach him to the bottom of this sticker and to the edge here, okay? And then if we put this guy's orange, this little like toucan guy, let's put him, and I like that they've got some black because that fits with the like the black quotes. I'm almost thinking I could put him sitting on a little another little branch of that stuff, that little piece that I didn't use. And then we could do um, this guy down here. Let's do these. The what is that? A leopard? I'm just you. I'm just basically ignoring the flowers that are already on the page. I they don't match really, but they don't not match. You know what I mean? Like the colors match, so I can kind of just let them not jump out at me. You know what I mean? Here we go. Let's put a chunk of this. He needs to be sitting on something. You know what I mean? Like what's he sitting on if I don't put this underneath him? There. Now he's sitting on something. All right. And then we'll just cut this off. Perfect. All right. And then I got to stick this little piece, this last little piece somewhere. Let's put it down here. Okay, I think that's enough. Um, I don't honestly use this this monthly very much, but at least it's decorated so that if I do, um, I have something nice and fun to look at. So I hope you like this video. I hope it encourages you to put stickers on your planner, um, your monthly views, even if you don't use them very much. Maybe if you pretty them up, you will. You just don't know. So if you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you.